So in this video, I'm going to talk about the anti-Markovnikov edition. And so to get a refresher, you might want to go back and see what the Markovnikov edition of an alkene was. And so a Markovnikov essentially would add to make the most stable carbocation. And so anti-Markovnikov gives you the opposite addition. And so as you can see, the overall reaction for this, this is a Markovnikov addition. It would add the bromine to the other side of the alkene, so the other carbon. And so it's pretty important to remember that this only works with HBr. You can only add anti-Markovnikov with HBr only. In addition, for this reaction to work, you need peroxides. And peroxides have very low bond dissociation energies and therefore are easily broken. And now let's look at how exactly this mechanism occurs. So this is the overall reaction, and now let's look at the mechanism. So for this mechanism, there are three steps. So first is a initiation, second is propagation, and third is termination. So first we're going to talk about initiation. And so essentially what happens for this step is you begin with the peroxide here. So you start with the peroxide, you add a little bit of heat, and then it's going to break into two free radicals. And so the free radicals are here. Like So it's the oxygen with the free radical there. And then what's going to happen is one of these is going to form a bond with the hydrogen of HBr. And so as a result, you're going to get a bromine free radical. So that's initiation. Next step is propagation. And so the next step is propagation. And so what's going to happen is this bromine is going to get attached. And so that double bond breaks. And so we have to decide whether atta to attach the bromine up here or down here. And so if we attach the bromine to the bottom one, it'll make a tertiary radical, which is more stable. And so that is what forms. Next, you go down here to take that exact same radical, and that's going to react with another HBr to essentially just finish up the reaction. And so your product is formed after the propagation step. And so the final step is just termination. And so what that is is essentially two free radicals reacting. So it could be either, it doesn't matter, all of the free radicals that we talked about, they could react with each other, but the point is termination will result in a neutral molecule and instead of a free radical. And so just to summarize this anti-Markovnikov addition, the mechanism is different from the HX addition without peroxides. The key thing is that this only works with HBr and you need peroxides to essentially start the reaction. And so this is gonna give you the opposite of the addition of HX without peroxides. And one last thing to mention is that no rearrangements will occur in this reaction because there is no carbocation intermediate. And so as you can see, the top one is Markovnikov addition, the bottom one is anti-Markovnikov addition. And so you can see the two different products that would form. And so now you know how to put a bromine onto whichever carbon of the double bond. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope that you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this.